Thank you to all of our sponsors for making our Computex 2023 coverage possible. Hey guys, we're back at Computex. This time we are at Inno3D. So you may or may have not heard of Inno3D. Obviously they are one of these brands who are, I guess a little bit region specific. So we work with them a lot in the UK and for a very, very good reason. They have some of the most unique looking graphics cards on the market. So I want to start talking about this. These are the 40 series white edition. And come on, they do look absolutely amazing, right? Each one looks slightly different to the next one. So it does differentiate it between the stack, but also at the same time, it, it has that white theme. We are starting to see a little bit more at Computex. We've seen some other products from other brands sort of keeping up with the white theme. I think now we're just waiting for white motherboards to actually make a comeback. So we've got the 4060 Ti Twin X2 OC white. So it's got sort of the, the white plastic shroud and then the metal one there as well, just to kind of, you know, shake things up a little bit. I'll talk about this one last. We have got the 4060 Ti iChill X3 white. So obviously being part of the iChill range, much, much beefier cooler, as you can see in comparison to this one. Uh, triple fan design, all of the kind of, you know, general ethos that you'd expect from an iChill cooler. Uh, we also have the RTX 4090 X3 OC White. I mean, the 4090 was a big card anyway, but I don't know if it's just where we are you know, in the booth and that, but this looks absolutely massive. Obviously, you are gonna be restricted to a certain degree with how many cases and what cases you can fit it in, but that's kind of a given with any RTX 4090. Again, it's got the white plastic shroud on there with the sort of metal brushed aluminum almost uh, design. It is a thick boy. It is gonna take up three slots in your case. Um, but other than that, you're getting the most powerful graphics card in the world, an RTX 4090. As always, you would be expected to pay a premium with a white card. That's kind of a given. It does cost more to produce. So therefore, it is going to cost a little bit more to actually buy. But I think for the extra money, you are getting something that looks absolutely amazing. So that's probably my favorite, purely because it's a 4090. Why would you not go for that? But I do also like this one with the kind of reflective design on there. I think it looks really, really nice with the iChill X3 white. They have got a lot of other stuff going on here, so uh, we'll move over to another side and we can start talking about them ones. Okay, so over this side, we have the 40 series card. So everything from the 4090 uh, X3 OC, 4080 X3 OC, 4070 Ti, 4070, 4060 Ti, and then the 4060 Ti as well. So we've got the X3 and the X2. Uh, really, what they're doing is just showing off, you know, the cards that they've got, um, you know, in the, the whole 40 series range. So everything from the 4090 down to the 4060 Ti. Obviously, we have got uh, the 4060 coming out next month, uh, as long as there's no delays or anything like that, as well as the 4060 Ti with 16 gig of memory instead of just 8 gig of memory. Uh, but yeah, just kind of shows, you know, what they have got. You can see that the design is basically the same as the white ones uh, in terms of, you know, the split sort of aluminium plastic design. But also on top of that, we've got the white, we've got the black, something for everyone. But there is one more sort of range of products that I want to talk about, and that's around the other side. Okay, so lastly, we have the 40 series again. But these ones are, I guess, a little bit more luxurious, right? So we have the iChill X3. Uh, for the 4090, the 4070 Ti, and then we start going a little bit more crazy for those who want you know, something a little bit extra. So we have got the 4090 iChill Black. So this one is, I guess, essentially a bit like an AIO like you'd expect on a CPU cooler. So you have got the radiator with the two fans, RGB of course, why wouldn't it be? And then the actual block itself, uh, as well as if you want just, you know, custom loop, then we have this one, which is the 4080 16 gig iChill Frostbite. So this is in collaboration with AlphaCool. They've actually designed the block. We have actually been to AlphaCool's offices. I think we did a video a couple of years on it and you can sort of see exactly how they take it from, you know, uh, the card being produced, coming to AlphaCool, then making a block for it. They actually 3D print things up and things like that as well. Uh, but yeah, great design on this. I have already spoken to Inno and said, look, we need to get some more of these exotic type cards in, like the iChill Frostbite, like the iChill Black, because you know, these days, in this day and age, when you look at a graphics card from NVIDIA's Founders Edition up to you know, Inno3D and some of the other AIB brands on there, it's really hard to differentiate kind of you know, anything between other cards because overclocking is kind of dead in the water at the moment, as well as general performance is going to be around the same. There's one difference, the one key difference is going to come down to the cooler. So we really need to look at these to show you kind of why, you know, paying that little bit of extra for something like this is going to, you know, not only give you great aesthetics, but also give you great performance when it comes to the cooling as well. So that about wraps up the Inno3D booth. Then we're going to have a lot more content from Computex 2023. Still got to try and get the name right. It's been four years not being here. So yeah, 
where we'll have a lot more content for you soon. Stay tuned for that. See you in the next one. See you later. Bye-bye.